Hi guys, girls and non-binary pals, welcome back to Budget with Ira. My name is Ira and I'm on a budgeting journey. I'm on a debt-free journey because I'm an absolute chump and I racked up over £13,000 worth of debt. On this channel, I share my debt payoff progress every single week so that me and my boyfriend can achieve our dream of owning our first home together. If you would like to support me on that journey, please consider subscribing. It makes a huge difference to this channel. Thank you so much to everybody who has already. I post debt and budget related content twice a week. Anyway, in today's video, we are checking in for week three of July's budget. In this week, I went back to work for two days after isolation and then I started a two week holiday. So I wasn't planning to have much spending on lunch, but I had lots of free days to do a lot of things with friends. So I was quite nervous about social. So if you'd like to know exactly how I got on this week, please keep on watching. Let's take a look at my homemade budget planner. Okay, so here we are in the third week of July. I get paid every four weeks and I got paid on the 2nd of July. So the week I'm checking in for is for the 16th to the 22nd of July. In today's video, I am going to check in with my spends first, then I'm gonna move over to my actual budget. So let's get started. On the 16th, I bought lunch at work. I bought these tweezers because I thought that it'd be better than looking at my big fat hands putting the stickers on, but I guess I've got to learn how to use them first. And I did a groceries trip while I was at work and that was £12.96. I spent 2 dollars on lunch at work on the 17th and that came out of my spending category. I'm giving up on those. On the 18th, I bought lunch at work and this was my last day at work before I went on holiday. And I bought some last minute things because I don't want to see that place for two weeks. On the 19th, I had a really nice day with my boyfriend. We went into town and I did actually spend quite a bit. In the morning, my car insurance came out, so I paid that. I went to Poundland and I needed one specific thing and I ended up spending 10 pounds. And on our way out of town, I spent £6.14 on McDonald's and we had a couple of bits. When I got home, I reviewed my budget and uh, figured out that I could spend £240.58 on my credit card, which was lovely. But I did spend £18.63 on Etsy. And I'll tell you all about that when it arrives, because I'm really excited about it. I need a hero! That scared me so much. On the 21st, we met up with friends and we went for a meal. It was mine and my boyfriend's birthday meal, so my friends paid for the meal, but we bought the drinks, so that cost us about 40 pounds. And then when I got home, I made my boyfriend's birthday present, and that was the 100 pounds on the card, which I haven't given him yet because it's his birthday on the 28th, but there's a video on how I made this. And if you want to get your hands on one of those, it's in my Etsy store as well. On the 21st, I didn't leave the house and it was a wonderful day, but my car payment came out. It was 164, no, 169.49. And then on the 22nd, I put a bit of petrol into my car because it was running low. We also have a social event today the 23rd we're going around some friends house and we're having a barbecue with their family and it's going to be wonderful and that's to celebrate mine my boyfriend's and one of our closest friends birthdays and because it's a barbecue uh, my boyfriend makes the nicest potato salad so that has been requested to be made so we bought that and we bought some halloumi and some stuff like that for the barbecue as well so that cost us 20 pounds well it cost us more than 20 pounds but we used 20 pounds of the social money and then my boyfriend topped up the rest with his because he's much better at not spending money than me and i forgot to mention that in the morning i dropped off my first etsy sales to the post box and I thought I'd treat myself to a Red Bull. 
And that is my week of spends. Let's move over to the budget. Okay, so let's take a look at the bills and the debt that I paid last week. So in terms of bills, the car insurance came out and it was 2337. And that is it. Moving over to debt, I paid for credit card and my car. So my car was 169.49. And I paid 240.58 towards the credit card. Let's go ahead and check in. So in my check-in, I look at spending, groceries, petrol, social, and any unbudgeted. First thing I can tell you is I added absolutely nothing in, so I'm just gonna zero that out. So in terms of spending, I spent 20 pounds 50 last week. which should leave me with 91 pence. And here's the money. I've got two, four, six, eight, 91. Spot on. For groceries, I spent 41.66, which leaves 22 pence in my account. I'm obviously doing really good with this budget in Malarkey. Petrol, I spent 30 pounds, which leaves zero. Social, I spent 60 pounds, which leaves zero. And unbudgeted, I spent 22.58. Which means so far this month, I have overspent by 50 pounds 96. So I feel two ways about that unbudgeted. Obviously, if I hadn't had spent that, I would have that towards debt. But at the same time, I'm paying a lot towards debt. So let me live my life. Moving on. Last week, I spent 174.74. And what I have remaining is just that 91 pence for spending and 22 pence for groceries, which is one pound 13. Let's move these figures over to next week. So in terms of next week, there isn't much wiggle room at all. I'm just gonna have to survive on what we have. I'm just gonna have to survive on what we have in house, which is abundant, so I'm not concerned about that. I can't afford to use any more on budgeted because I have exactly enough in my account for the bills that are coming out. So it's going to be a very, very low spend week. Hi guys, gals and all minor pals. Thank you so much for getting to the end of the video. As you know, I really appreciate it when you guys do this. I also appreciate every single like and comment. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing this because I love what I do at the moment. I've got some really cool videos planned. So click that notification bell. You'll get an alert the very second that I post them. That marks the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching guys, gals, non-panning pals, and I'll see you all next week. Thanks so much. Bye.